Space, the final frontier. These are the voyages of a Starship Enterprise. Its continuing mission to boldly go where no man. Ah, dang it. It's a huge franchise, the Star Trek franchise, a huge IP to be collaborating with. We were talking to the licensing teams uh, for CBS, they were talking to our licensing teams and we were exploring what IPs would work for, for our games and Jetpack seemed a good fit with uh, Star Trek. Ah, oh, let me tell you, when I found out there was this Star Trek event for Jetpack Joyride, I was stoked! Go Team Spock! Am I right? I was really excited when I found out there was a Star Trek event for Jetpack Joyride. The day one of actually working on the product was, was super exciting for, for me. We knew there were a lot of Star Trek fans uh, in Heartbreak uh, and we uh, asked them to put forward their ideas of what they would think uh, a Star Trek event in Jetpack Joyride would look like. Uh, we got great reception out of that. As a Star Trek fan, oh my god, yes. As a Jetpack Joyride dev, oh my god, yes. Like, I just really enjoy working on things that I'm passionate about, and having uh, an event such as Star Trek, there's so many things you can do with it. Ah, uh, yeah, look, I'm a, I'm a big Star Trek fan, for sure. You know, the whole idea of boldly going where no one has gone before, that really resonates with me, you know? I I haven't gone where no one has gone before. I've, I've mainly mainly just gone where lots of other people have gone before, uh, like the shops, but I'd like to go where no one has gone before. That's, that's the point. Artists started uh, work on the backgrounds and the costumes and the coders started work on uh, the effects uh, and the mechanics and the new vehicles that we'll be putting into the game. With the creative process between the two IPs, we try to come to a middle ground, I guess. After all, it is Jetpack Joyride, so we do want to have Jetpack influence. We get the influence from Star Trek and try to match the palettes of, of the show. We do try to keep it as accurate as possible, so a fan playing the game would recognise it. Working on this Star Trek event has actually been a really big challenge. The franchise just has such fantastic music. We're going to have a music track that plays, which is kind of capturing that exploratory space kind of feel. And then when the player smashes through the wall, the music will change and it will immediately transform into this big, heroic, exciting kind of track. What we want to try to do with that is to recreate that feeling when the Enterprise blasts past the screen and you have this big sort of exciting moment when all the music kicks in. In the Star Trek event, fans can expect a whole new theming of the gameplay. You can collect different costumes, different jetpacks, different vehicle skins. There's just so many different things that we really put a lot of effort into. Look, I reckon the great thing about these events is it just just helps keep everything fresh, you know? It gives the fans something new. They really love these crossover events. You wouldn't believe how many people yell at me in the street to give them more Jetpack Joyride events and, and just yell at me in the street in general, actually, for that matter. Jetpack Joyride fans will have a great time playing the event, uh, but maybe the Star Trek fans who are new to Jetpack Joyride will be able to pick it up, play it straight away, work out you know, the levels we're going for, they'll get all the easter eggs uh, that we've popped in their game and I think it'll make it for a great experience. I know for those couple of weeks I won't be doing much else apart from playing the game. Can I say live long and prosper? Ho <laughs> ho, you betcha! What? Well, ah, oh, say it now? Okay, <clears throat> here we go. Live long and pr protect, um, pr sorry, what was it again? Line? Live long, long and prosper. prosper.